Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I picked up The Force Awakens on DVD. I got this yesterday. Meant to do a video about it. Didn't get around to doing it, but I got the Target exclusive one. Now, I'm not really too sure. There was another one that had the same exact features on the back. There you go. There's a shot of the back. Um, now, this one, it supposedly has more stuff. But all it is is there's an insert, and it lets you access stuff online. Is that really what I paid five more dollars for is some package? And this packaging is better. The other packaging has Star Wars The Force Awakens on it. And there's like, and you can see the characters like inside the lettering. I prefer this. You know, I usually like a more sturdy case, but I guess this is okay the way how it is. And um, the artwork is way better, I think, on the inside. Um, you can take a look right here. See that artwork? I, I really like this one with, with uh, Kylo Ren in the middle right there. Um, and you can see it folds out. And you've, you know, you've got everybody right there. Most of the main characters. There, There's fucking Leia right there. Sexy ass MILF right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, it's a it's a really beautiful set. Um there's three there's three discs. Yeah, there is three discs. I'm just making sure on the inside. Um in case anybody's wondering, you're too lazy to look it up online. There's deleted scenes. This is the Blu-ray version. It's got the DVD inside, the digital HD copy. No, I'm not showing you the insert. You're gonna try to steal me insert! You're going to try to steal me code. I wouldn't let you get me code. You know, so anyway, there's the story, Awakens, the table read, building BB-8, crafting creatures, blueprint of a battle, the snow fight, John Williams, the Seventh Symphony, ILM, the visual magic of the force, and as I mentioned, the deleted scenes. Um, and of course, the big... Feature on here is Secrets of the Force Awakens, a cinematic journey. Um, I always love the special features on here. And fucking no way. You know, when it comes to other DVDs, I ain't going to sit down and watch a bunch of behind the scenes. Unless I'm crazy about that that movie. And well, crazy about... You know, fuck anybody who says this is a bad movie. This fucking movie sunk, sunk the Titanic. I almost wish that the Millennium Falcon or a fucking X-Wing or, or, or the the Death Star number two, whatever the fuck it's called, um, it, you know, Kyle, uh, Kylo Ren's fucking Death Star. You know, I, I wish he would just fucking uh, blow up the fucking Titanic. Bam! bam! <laughs> you know what I mean? That that would be awesome if they could literally do that. So Somebody should make that, like, on the internet. Make, like, a Flash cartoon or some shit. Just uh, the Millennium Falcon blowing up the fucking Titanic. Because it beat the Titanic in the worldwide records. It's the number one grossing film worldwide. And that's pretty fucking awesome because this film really deserves it. I mean, to, to think this is this is the, the highest grossing film of all time. And it's the highest grossing Star Wars of all time. Which makes it pretty much the most popular Star Wars movie of all time. It might not be everybody's favorite. It's not my favorite, at least yet. I don't know. I've got repeated viewings to do on this. I've seen it three times already. About to be a fourth time once I watch this son of a bitch. Well, you know, this movie's got haters. People say it's a racist movie. People say all sorts of things about it. I think it's a great movie. I like the story. It's too much like A New Hope. Well, you know, the thing is, if anything reminds you of A New Hope, which is my second favorite Star Wars movie of all time, I'm all for it, motherfuckers. And I don't think it's that much like A New Hope. There's a lot of similarities, but it ain't a repeat like a lot of people are making it out to be. You know, people are on a real kick. People call me a negative Nancy, but people are on a real kick of being super negative towards shit that's actually good and refusing to see the masterpieces for what they are. You know, 
Batman vs. Superman. I'm not saying it's a masterpiece, but it's a really good film. And this movie right here, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. Um, this is a, a great film. It's an amazing film. It's a beautiful film. The cinematography, I like the acting. I like the new characters. I'm a big fan of this film, and, well, now I got it in my collection, motherfuckers. Ha! Ding!